On today's Conan Exiles Guides, we're talking about map rooms and all things fast travel. Because if you haven't noticed, it's a bit annoying to get around this map sometimes. But it's okay, because you've probably also noticed these strange obelisks about that you can attune to. Get out of this view. We're starting off today at the Dregs, or um, Skulker's End. If you click on the obelisks, it's going to attune you to them, which will make your bracelet all flashy. That's going to enable you to use what we call a map room. We're going to go through that in a moment. First, we're going to go and learn all the obelisks, and then I'm going to teach you how to craft a map room, and then we're going to talk about some other fast travel-y things that are awesome. Options now. The sorcery. You don't want to generally hang around these places too long because this glowy cloud is actually causing corruption. I am currently in creative mode, so you can't see that, but I'll get out of it quickly so you can see, and it will come up was saying gaining corruption and your health and stamina is going to be depleted. You do need some corruption for doing certain sorcery things and you're going to gain a bunch of it from teleporting with it. So we're also going to go into dances and a couple of uncorrupting things as well at the end of this video. So you don't have to get around at half your capacity if you don't want to be using sorcery stuff all of the time. Oops, I'm going to go back into creative mode as to not mess with my stuff too much for now. Uh, yeah, so we're at Skulker's End to touch the first obelisk. You don't have have to touch them in any order by any means but if you see one do touch it there are other ways to acquire them through map rooms which i'm going to go into towards the end of this video as well you'll occasionally find people who've built handy little things like this about that you can essentially use to jump over the gap or you can climb up the sides i like to climb up over here because i find climbing on the corners is a bit easier this is a bit tricky not gonna lie but you can often find someone's already built a map room here if you're on a single player server you can build map rooms around at all these different places but yeah that's a bit of towards the end of the video the next location i like to go from here is towards the actual place where we learn the map room but for the sake of the video we'll go there last and then yeah but just to show you i usually go in here to the unnamed city that's where you learn the map room but we're going to go over to khalil's stronghold there's going to be a bunch of these skeletons about they're not going to attack me currently because of my admin setting there's also a dungeon that you can do i have a guide on that check it out yeah do remember to always touch these because uh, later on it's going to enable you like i said to use that map room and get about you'll often find people have built map rooms on multiplayer servers around all these places like i said so you don't have to worry too much about getting about on multiplayer multiplayer servers but on your single player server it's still if you're not using admin to teleports like I currently am you're going to need to build a few map rooms and particularly if you play multiplayer pvp servers you've probably heard about the sinkhole it's a pretty handy obelisk to have because it is right in the center of things you can learn dragon bone armor down here you'll often find people have built elevators down but there is a alternative route through the side of the mountain over here that's a different video though little emote to touch the encampment has been overrun by raiders and miscreants I've yet again been forced out of my home. I made my way here where I know they would not follow, and now I understand why. I hear breath of beat, even above the thundering sound of my own heartbeat. I will stay here no longer than I need in order to make certain I have not been followed. Thankfully, I managed to steal enough bread and water to sustain me for a short period. Yesterday night, I saw lights in the south. I will travel there. Perhaps the lights from the fires will keep hyenas at bay. Probably not a good place to go. So now you've attuned this obelisk again. We are at the sinkhole on the map just a little bit north of the summoning place which is a really handy place to go to get thralls my base is just up above so it's particularly handy for me but if you are on a pvp server be warned you'll probably get stabbed here straight away because people love to just stand around here and kill each other without much going else super cool for that but i digress moving along heading over to the jungle now this is a pretty good place to come and level so it's a nice obelisk to run past and get so there's lots of nice resources about here as well so it's definitely one that's why they getting early game it is just here you used to be able to build this off and block it off and you'd often teleport in on a server that you hadn't been to for a while and you already had the obelisk unlocked and you'd be stuck in someone's random base they have kind of stopped that at most obelisks but it can be a bit of a problem still because you can build fairly close and if someone's toxic enough yay that spot again just here in the jungle 
pretty easy to get up to through a little path and there's some cliffs that you can jump down to get towards where we're going to go next now this jungle swampy area is a bit suckier to get to because there's um less cats and apes that you can outrun and more spiders and sand reapers that spit nonsense at you which is buckets of fun so do be prepared to potentially die or be very quick they they're just everywhere but in saying that building up on these ledges is pretty good place to build because people also don't love coming here because sand reapers and spiders are very annoying so keep that in mind if you're looking for a place to keep out of the way and you can build in most of the tops of these trees also that's this obelisk in that spot this here at the upper staging area. It's very close to a passage that leads us north, which is what I would usually go through to then touch the obelisk over at the Bridge of the Betrayer. You're going to need some spicy stuff or something that keeps you warm or a lot of bedrolls to place and um, die and place and die. I've got a Adventure to the Volcano video that I'm also filming that's going to come out soon, so that's going to teach you how to get around in cold places if you don't have much else but bedrolls. <laughs> but if you head just around the corner from the obelisk here, uh, you're gonna see a very witch queeny looking statue face you head through the mouth nothing too bad that's gonna get you most of the sand reapers and stuff can't follow you in here let's run so it's less disorientating for you it can get cold in here also it's pretty easy to climb down here there's an ish source of crystal if you can't be bothered going to get any crystal anywhere else and i usually climb down here there is also a sand reaper queen in here she's buckets of joy like the rest of them her box is in some nonsense place like up here yeah no maybe not i thought it was up here maybe this is called a silver box i don't know it's somewhere around here i digress she is shit and i run past her so we want to head to the other side there she is through here directly to the other side and you should be able to climb up here and she should no longer be able to get you all the way up here you just have to get naked to climb this game with any efficiency that goes to a whole bunch of nothing so don't bother there's um something else to find in here i think as well oh, where it is up there pretty easy can give you demon blood sometimes then you exit out that's gonna leave you basically straight to the great dam which is pretty handy little shortcut now you can either head up to the volcano from here which is sometimes what i do I do a little death run be naked run up i'd go down here to the little pathway up or yeah rather um place bed rolls like i said before and then go touch the obelisk but i'll show you that in a moment um, or you can have some spicy food or death run across to the bridge of the betrayer. Bunch of black keep skeletons around here. Pretty decent XP for yourself and your thralls. You can also find frost lotus about those little bushes down there. And this is also where you come to learn the silent legion armor and the Tilia's sorrow and lament and stuff. So that's kind of a good dungeon to do. Click on him. Uh, you can run across the bridge. There is a moment of frostbite. So yeah, again, either have better rolls prepared, something spicy or some decent armor on your adventure. That spot again on the map right near ruins of Zalin. These aren't in particularly the order I would touch them in either. I generally just run around and see what I need and get what I need to get when I get it. Uh, but yeah, highly advised to touch them when you see them because it's handier than having to go back later. Touch this one at Mounds. There's going to be a recipe just here for some brewing. Um, I'm not going to read that. I've got a different recipe guide if you want to know where all the recipes and stuff are. The Mounds Obelisk, just here. Mounds of the Dead. A few things around that are going to try and kill you, but you just climb up here or you can jump over from this little mound here, which, oh. again, often find bathrooms and stuff around because people like to come to this area. It's a good source of bark, good source of thralls. There's a red lotus around. Getting into the snow, you're definitely going to need better rolls or well, the stuff I mentioned before to the frost temple area you can get a lot of black ice here there's a few little nodes that are quite handy just there there's a quite a cold area and especially when you go into the frost temple itself it's where the frost forge is where you can make all frosty things i've got different guides on that stuff um touch your obelisk as always you can often find star metal out in this field so i advise don't build anywhere here because star metal will make your house go bye bye heaps of fun i've seen it happen to many people 
people it's um kind of amusing i've never had it happen to myself because we've seen it happen to someone else like pretty straight up in the game but i've even seen people's map rooms get taken out here on the rare occasion there's a lot of saber cats to get about to get here if you are coming from mounds i don't love running up this way i'll usually run up this ledge and run down here somewhere to avoid most of the nonsense or alternatively i'll come from the volcano entrance which you can go up this hill here i usually climb up along here this is the little bit that you have to climb right here and then you keep going a little bit climb here run do, 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 do. avoid all the mammoths get the metal if you really want you can often get um ob camped by a spawn camped rather by the, this mammoth there's also some black ice you can get right here this little cave is going to lead you straight into the volcano from this direction in the volcano, you can either go down south that way through the Well of Skelos or keep heading straight this way and that's going to lead you through a gas field mine. All of these people are aggressive. Um, some of them aren't actually, but a bunch of them are uh, randomly. So the volcano is very inconsistent with who's going to be aggressive and who's not. You can sometimes find this guy who can give you a bit of flesh, but yeah, I digress. Run through this whole gassy area. Try not to get murdered by everyone. And just across over here, there's a lot of gold lotus that you can find if you're looking for gold lotus. Very decent levels. This obelisk here. You can build fairly close to here as well, so often people will block it and or have map rooms and wells about. It's a very hot area, so bring some ice. And then you can head out this way if you like. If you haven't already gone and touched all of this stuff, and then you can head to this one. There's a couple of different routes that you can take around, but this is going to lead you out to the snow again. A couple of dragons you can fight and then run back down this way. That exact obelisk location is right here. Right near the path of the patient, Shrine of Oracles. Again, bring ice, water, something to keep you cool, cooling armor. Check out my temperature guides video for a bit more further depth on all of that. Now we head to the unnamed city right here usually i do come here pretty much first up because my goal in life is to get a map room straight away touch that obelisk right behind the obelisk is a little temple that you can run down into it's quite corrupting fairly deep into here this whole place is quite corrupting and there's a lot of skeletons that will mess you up quite easy to run here like level five naked though and outrun everyone nothing to really worry about there's a couple of boxes you can touch if you collect relic fragments along your journey, you can touch a wall over here and get some less recipes and things from that and buy oils. That's a different guide um, from him and put them on your tools and weapons and stuff. And then you want to learn cartography from the archivist. archivist? That one. And that's going to enable you with a construction hammer to be able to craft one of these guys. This is a map room. Unfortunately, you can't use this one. There's none just in the world. I feel it's a real missed opportunity. I really wish you would be able to just teleport out of here now that you've fought your way beyond the bloody goblin city but no anyway the real map room you can build is quite a lot smaller than this so let's go check that out so a few things to keep in mind you can use a map room if you have not learned map rooms you can not place a map room if you have not learned map room so do keep that in mind don't go picking it up or anything actually i don't think it will even let you now but it might dismantle it and that'll be annoying then if you've learned sorcery and leveled it up a few chunks you'll be able to learn teleportation stone and for the the low low price of just 50 brimstone and three sacrificial blood you can ignite this bad boy and if you have multiple of them you're able to teleport between multiple places so you can have your own daddy little teleport up the bit off my desk there which is incredibly handy if you happen to live in some nonsense place or you are on single player server and you can just build these everywhere and you don't have to have them protected anyone can use them though so i can just walk up to yours and teleport to your base probably don't have one directly in your base on a multiplayer server if it's pvp and all that and it's going to bring up these stones anywhere that you have an obelisk is going to be named whatever the place is named in the game so west finger fang rock we why can i not fast travel right now maybe because i'm in admin mode but yeah for some reason it's broken right now don't know whether it's a kind of thing on my game thing it worked for me recently so that's cool that's what this teleporter is called and then my other teleporter is 
also on, but not receiving input at the moment. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I can't not ignite it anymore, but usually it just teleported me now. Okay, cool. So it was just my game having a moment. That's fun. Yeah, so it's teleported me over here. If you've got um, enemies around, they can attack you, but it's pretty instant. It does give you a decent chunk of corruption. So you're going to want to have some dancers around. So it's a good idea when you build map rooms or even at your house in between travels to have a dancer around. A tier one dancer will do it. Tier fours might be a bit quicker at it. The more you got, the more quicker it is at relieving your corruption. But you can also visit Conan's house in Sepimaru. If you haven't seen my Sepimaru guide, do check that out. It goes into that in some depth. Or you can kill some of the dudes lucky around the unnamed city. Guide coming out on that as well. And then they're going to give you hearts of heroes, which you can consume and get rid of all of your corruption. But they only last 40 minutes, so you need to put them in a fridge or a bead box for slightly extra time. A fridge will keep indefinitely with ice. Or you can make some cleansing brews if you need to know the recipe. Check out my old recipes guide. Let's teleport back. Usually it tells you the name of the different ones, but maybe it's just because I don't have multiple ones. Then I can eat my heart of a hero, and it's going to get rid of a bunch of my corruption. It used to get rid of all of it, but cool. Um, You also need them for a couple of other recipes. But anyway, craft a map room itself. You are going to need 200 corrupted stone, like 75 alchemy base, 35 crystal, I think or something thereabouts, 35 iron reinforcements. To make alchemy, to, to make corrupted stone, you're going to need demon blood and ichor and some stone in an alchemist. Having an alchemist in there is not going to make it cheaper, but it will make it a bit quicker. You can use just an improved one. You don't need to use the fancy big ones because it is just one for one in here. And we'll do it a bit quicker than the fancy big ones as well. To make some alchemy base, you need these things. Creative mode, so I got my recipes unlocked again. So you will be able to create craft alchemy base and this guy again just used an improved cauldron it's pretty quick in them and it's one for one as well uh you can use any type of alchemist in there it's not gonna give you extra recipes it will make it a bit quicker the better the alchemist you can get alchemy base from turning in skulls at the Catan caravans for a decent rate you can also occasionally get it from tier three and named bearers from their backpacks it is also able to be gotten from mining the silver mine over here or over here by dagon's descent there's also a fair bit of silver. Up in the volcano by hitting obsidian you will get a decent chunk of gold. When mining gold you probably want to convert to careful harvest. You are twice as likely to, you are twice as likely to gather rare resources. Also when you're getting demon blood but depending on what you're getting it off as you're going to get a little more chance of getting a lot more. I hit a lot of one hit harvestable so it's good for me to use the other one. If you're on Sipta and there's gold little nodes everywhere just use the regular double harvest on final hit. So pop all your ore into a furnace, smelt it down into these bars. You can put them in a dismantler grinder thing, not dismantler, and that's going to grind into some dusts for you. You can check out my Ica guide if you'd like other in-depth knowledge on how to get Ica easily. Link somewhere around. I also have a guide on where to get a bunch of different crystal. If that's not out on the time of viewing this, hopefully it'll be out soon. Gather all of these things that you are going to need. You're going to need a construction hammer also. So with your construction hammer out, press F, then you're going to go into decorations, special and find map room. You can see it's a full construction cost there. It was 50 crystal 35 iron reinforcements. You're going to click on that and you're going to want a fairly flat surface. If you're on an official setting server or not on your own and you have DK timer on, put at least eight pieces of foundation around it, preferably some of tier three because you'll get a much higher DK timer on it. And it's easier to place it on a flat surface anyway way like that. You can rotate it around and things. Then if you happen to be the lucky fellow who's in a tribe and you have friends and your friends haven't touched all the obelisks and you have touched the obelisks, you can obelisk hop. Still someone's teleport by them clicking on the obelisk, you also clicking on the obelisk, them spamming it, you click it and they will steal your obelisk ride. Do remind them to look at the teleport area, this stone that I'm looking at right now, and to click on the obelisk when they teleport and not instantly kill themselves. Put a bedroll somewhere nearby if you using a public map room to do it or whatever and you just kill yourself and go to the next one kill yourself next one etc pretty handy way to share teleport locations with a friend or maybe there's a nice person on the server who'll give you a lift around alternatively you can have a summoning circle where you can summon corpses again through learning sorcery if you would like to check out my sorcery guide it goes into like what level all this stuff is learnt at and how to level it quickly but you can essentially just like like 
Slut cap yourself, kill yourself, fall on your bed and then summon your corpse. To the circle for the low low cost. You can't even see the low low cost because my stupid head's in the way. But it's sacrificial blood, one 50 brimstone and one glass flask. Pretty easy stuff to come by. Get sacrificial blood for both that and your teleportation stone here. You're going to need one of these guys. And you put thralls in them and then you sacrifice them. That's You get this stuff. That's how you corrupt your perks. Little bonus tip there. You're going to make blood right sacrifice and then you're going to turn it into this guy you can get some glass flasks by either getting a whole bunch of crystal putting in your furnace smelting into glass or hoarding glass from rolls you kills pockets making a mold and making some flasks this way it's pretty much i've got speeds turned up so it's a bit quicker but it uses three for one it's also how you can turn coins from your bars into coins you have to unlock all those perks and all that but well, you can grab your coins and in a moment, I will show you how to buy a bunch of glass flasks for these adventures. To build your teleportation stone, you're going to want to go into crafting stations, sorcery, circle of power if you've got the magician's chalk one from the battle pass. And then there's also teleportation stone. So that's how much the circles cost. The sacrificial stones, very cheap. And then we've got the summoning circle, again, fairly cheap. So to buy a bunch of glass flasks, we're going to demonstrate using the obelisk. You can label these with little signs as well if you are confused, but it will give you a rough area of light and make a little noise, as you can probably hear, of where you're going to go. Some of them aren't lined up well, but I'm used to this one being the Brimstone Lake, and that's where we want to go. It takes a moment to teleport in, and you're going to be gaining corruption straight away, so do run away. We're going to head over to Sepumaru quickly in this direction. That's brought us to here on the map. And then we're going to head over to West Wall Prison. I'm making a merchant's guide of all of these guys in detail, so if you'd like to know more about them, do keep your build for that. But this particular guy, Venos Ginflint, is going to sell us a bunch of glass flasks for silver coins. This is by far the best way to get your glass flasks, most efficient for sure. I advise building a sacrificial stone somewhere around like a Defari camp that's got a bunch of people that's easy to kill and lure out, like the summoning place. Do enclose your building if it happens to be on a public server so people can't touch your stuff or use your things same with map rooms they can be handy in your base because convenience for you but if you're on a raiding server people can use them against you quite easily so do keep that in mind when placing map rooms at your actual base and same with teleportation stones to build layers around them uh, i hope that's going to help you'll get around the map a little easier there is always horses but whatever so you can have your map rooms you can have your teleportation stones you can have your summoning circle for your dead bodies you can place as many teleportation stones as you like around and they will all connect to each other which is very handy as well you can technically bat of nurgle around and glide from high place to high place but you need a lot of corruption for that so it's not even worth going through there's a couple of places that i wouldn't mind there be an obelisk that there's not like this kind of area and like anywhere near new asgard because there's only the one in the frost and that's a little bit annoying like i could handle one somewhere here because there's also like nothing anywhere here so you usually go from the archivist area these ways but it definitely opens up the map a bunch more experiment with them build them in on a multiplayer server um, map rooms if they're by obelisk you don't really need to build them in unless you're on a super toxic server you don't want other people to have convenient fast travel but don't be a dick i guess and you probably won't get raided as much <laughs> Yeah, I hope that um, helped you all get around. If you found this information informative, do smash that like button and chuck up a comment of other guides you'd like to see in the future. I'm happy to make them and hopefully you'll enjoy. Until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, or whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.